Hello everyone, welcome to the first problem of first experiment of level 1 term to software course. So today's session will be divided into two parts. In the first part, we will talk about something new, we will talk about transient analysis and some stuffs and in the later part we will apply that knowledge. So let's get started. What is transient analysis? Transient analysis calculates a circuit's response for a period of time defined by the user. So, uh, when we apply transient analysis, P spice calculates the circuit response for different type and plots these values. So, in the graph, in the horizontal axis, there is time, and in the ver vertical axis, there might be, might be different things. So, this is some information on transient analysis. Now, let's have a look at the circuit. So, this is the circuit. So, we'll need a voltage source, a switch, a resistor, and an inductor. So, I'll go to schematic and get this. Uh, v there are two voltage sources available VAC and VSIN. So we use VAC whenever the frequency is not specified, but whenever the frequency is spec specified, we use VSIN. So I'll just get a VSIN here and put it here. Now there are two switches available. Whenever the switch is closed, we use SWT closed, but whenever the uh, switch is open, we use SWT open. So here I will use SWT closed. And then I'll get a resistor R here, put it here, and then get a inductor here. I'll just con control R to rotate it. Uh, inductor, control R, and put it here. Now I'll just draw the wires. A ground earth must be added here, so I'll just put a ground earth here. Now let's get to the voltage source. Uh, the VF set here is zero. Save attribute. Amplitude is amplitude is 300 volts, and frequency is 50 hertz. And save them and say OK. The resistance value is one ohm, and the Inductance value is 10 milli Henry. And say OK. And the switch closes at 0 seconds, which is similar to the, the circuit. So I'll just keep it like this. And uh, now the circuit is completed. Now for transient analysis, we'll go to setup analysis, then go to transient. And there are four options available. To have a better understanding of them, we'll just learn some new things. So what does print state mean? This is the frequency at which data is saved. So this means the time difference ap after which it is each uh, circuit response is computed. So if you put 10 microsecond here, uh, then after each 10 microsecond, the circuit response will be recorded. Then comes final time. This is the upper limit of the time value in the plot. So this means the highest time at which circuit response will be recorded. The third point is print delay. This integrates the time for which circuit response won't be recorded. So suppose you have a value like uh, 20 millisecond for final time and pin delay to be 8 millisecond. Then from 0 to 8 millisecond, the circuit response won't be recorded. But for 8 millisecond to 20 millisecond, the circuit response will be recorded. And finally comes max print step. This means the maximum step. So whenever the uh, value of the uh, de uh, value of the variable changes. Suppose it changes very rapidly, then step uh, p space makes it step lower and gets the value accordingly. But whenever the value changes rap value changes very slowly, p space makes it step larger. But you can set the maximum step here. This will make the this will make the uh, highest value of the step of p space fixed. So these are some informations on these stuffs. Now let's get back to the circuit. So this is circuit. Now I will just put this value, but when you put this values, there are two important things to remember. The first thing is frequency. Here the frequency is 50 hertz, so the time period is 20 milliseconds. So if you want three or more cycles here, then you have to put the final time accordingly. Again, there is another thing. Whenever we we do transient analysis, there is a 
transient transient response available there are two responses here transient response and steady state value but uh, the uh, transient response stays for about uh, 5 into time constant time so we have to first calculate the time constant here the time constant is l by r which is 10 millisecond so 5 into time constant is 50 millisecond and the final time must be greater than that so i'll just go to transient analysis and put the final time to be more than 50 millisecond so here i put 60 millisecond for instance and the print step will be uh, 10 microsecond this is okay and say okay then i'll close this one and then i'll just put the known names here one here two and here three and say okay and then i will simulate this one i'll give give it schematic two name and here we go now let's have a look at the tasks the first task is plot vl versus t and then i versus t so i'll just go here and uh, vl means v3 here so i'll put v3 here so this is the response and uh, i will also put a current here so i will just put ir1 for instance and say okay and uh, i will also plot one another thing that is v1 which is the circuit's voltage source so v1 so here we can see the value of v3 which means the voltage across uh, uh, voltage across inductor was somewhat like this here and changed uh, uh, to some other here so the shape initially wasn't the same with the shape afterwards this means there was a transient response available in the beginning but the transient response gets lower with time and after 5 into time constant the effect was so less than thus there was no actual impact of this transient response here so the shape of the inductor inductor's voltage here and the shape here was not same this is the effect of the transient response so this is all about this tasks i hope i am clear to you all so this is all here